today's video I'm unboxing, setting up, and reviewing two different aquarium lights from JCMP Aquarium. I've been running one of these lights on my discus tank for the last few months, so I have some general thoughts on this light already. I'm also just going to show the general setup, review, and compare this light to some of the other LED lights that are kind of in its category and price range. This is just one of many unboxing, setup, and reviews of different products we're going to be using on new aquarium setups. As you can see, I have a ton going on in my basement as I have a big aquarium coming soon and then my brothers are working on different projects. It's just been easier to order all this at once so some of this will be going to my brothers but I did want to start with the JCMP aquarium light since I did test that a little bit already and I do think it's a pretty quality product so let's dive right in. Starting off we're going to unbox two different aquarium lights from JCMP aquarium. I'll leave links down in the description to the lights if you do want to buy them after watching this video. I'm not trying to sell you on these lights, I'm just going to give a general overview of what they are, how to set it up, and a few of my own thoughts at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and get these guys unboxed, starting with this guy, the full spectrum light. Alright, here we go. There it is, the full package, and there's the power outlet. So as you can see here, we have the power cord, which has a pretty decent amount of length to it as well as the controller, the inline remote for the light itself. And then there's some bubble wrap on the light. I'm gonna go ahead and get this off. A little bit of wrapping here with some instructions. And I'm gonna show how to set up this light, which has been very simple from what I've seen on my discus tank. Here are the two prongs that go in both sides of the light. And taking off the bubble wrap here. So this is the full spectrum light, and I believe it is 48 inches. And my first reaction is that I really like how thin this light is. It is one of the most thin lights I've seen. It is wider on the top, so I think this is about three and a half to four inches. But the overall look from the front, which you'll see when looking at the aquarium, it's very sleek and very thin, so I do like that a lot. The power cord is hardwired into it, which is nice, so you don't have to plug anything in and worry about corrosion over time. And then we're gonna get to the controller and how to set this up in just a minute. It does have some ridges on the top here, which dissipates some of the heat that comes off of the light. And these guys will go in both ends here. And just like that. So they do extend out about four inches on either side if you have a little bit longer of an aquarium. But overall, the size looks perfect for a four foot tank, maybe a 75 gallon or a 90 gallon. And I'm gonna show this on an aquarium a little bit later. You can see the LEDs themselves right here in the middle. But overall, my first reaction is it's a really nice light and that I was surprised at how thin it was. It's definitely gonna be one of my favorite features of this light. It has a little film here that you just pull off before using. It feels pretty durable. I'm gonna get into some of the specs here compared to the other light right after we unbox that. So let's unbox that now. So this is our second light that we're gonna be unboxing. This is the Ultra Thin, I believe, which is the same light I've used on my discus tank. And I really like the overall light so far, but I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this one because it'll be going in one of my brother's tanks down the line. So I'll go ahead and unbox it and show it right out of the box. All right, here we go. Pretty similar setup here. We have the, again, the prongs that go on either side, a little more thin, about two inches thinner than the light we just unboxed. Then we have our power cord, again with some good length to it, and then our inline controller. Then we have the light here with more bubble wrap and instructions. Here we go. So again, this one is very thin as well. This is one of my favorite features about a light. I'm probably gonna say that multiple times. This ultra thin has a little more rigid top to it, but uh, overall it's very thin as well. The LED lights are right here, but the main differences between the full spectrum and this ultra thin is that this is about two inches thin, whereas the full spectrum was about four. And then also this has white and blue light only, whereas the full spectrum has reds that you can control as well. But for this ultra thin, one of the reasons I've really liked it on my tank so far is that I really only use white and blue lights in my tanks anyway. Sometimes I'll use more blue lights when it comes to African cichlid tanks, and then I'll use more white lighting whenever it's South American cichlid tanks like these two behind me here. So again, the assembly of both lights couldn't be easier. You just put the prongs on the ends for both lights, and then you're ready to go, ready to plug it in. And next we're gonna go ahead and set up the light Light and show how you set different schedules and intensity of your light and some of the different features between these two lights. Another thing I forgot to mention is that JCMP does have other materials on their website. I have like Sirius stone here, dragon stone here, just different aquascaping materials. So you're gonna see all this be in use very soon, but just wanted to mention that if you are looking on JCMP's website, you can see some of this 
in there as well. So a pretty good site to check out. They have good materials overall from what I've seen. Um, but let's get back into the light. So when setting up this light, it's very simple. It comes with this inline controller. We're looking at the ultra thin light here first. And like I mentioned, it only has white or blue light. So you have your W up there to set your white light settings as well as the B for blue. You can click each button about 10 times to reach its full intensity. I usually do about two clicks on the white and about one click on the blue. So 20 and 10% in total. And I think that looks really good. It really lights up my discus tank. So it's nowhere near its full intensity and I think it looks really good. Once you have your light intensity set, you can do six, eight, or 10 hours on the timer. This is super simple. I really like that about this light. Sometimes your higher end lights get a little more complicated with different apps and technology. And really all I need is to set that timer, set it and forget it. I currently have four Fluval AquaSky LED lights and I do like the lights a lot, but they are more higher end and they're more expensive. They come with an app with a lot of different settings and really I don't need all those settings. I just set it and forget it anyway. I used to think controlling all the lights on one app was gonna make things a lot more convenient, but I think I could use this type of timer on my lights and do just as well. It probably would have saved me a lot of money on all these different lights. So if I did it all over again, I'd probably go with something in this mid-tier range of light like the JCMP. So here's the full spectrum controller. And like I said, it's very similar, very easy. The main difference here is that you have a red button. You can also add in your reds. So you could do up to 10 clicks of the white, blue, or the red. Again, I would probably only do two clicks of the white, one of the blue, I don't even know if I would click on the reds if I would use this light. So uh, it's up to you if you want that full range and spectrum. I guess that's how it got its name because it does have the red light as well for that full spectrum. I believe the white lights here also have a little mix of green LEDs that come on. So this might be better for your planted tank if you want a little more intensity and you want a little more color variation to your light. But overall, I really like the simplicity of these controllers. They're very simple and easy. And I think that's a positive for these lights compared to some of the others that try to make things a little too complex. So here's just a comparison of some of the lights that I have right now on hand and that I've used in a lot of my aquariums. We have the full spectrum from JCMP that we just unboxed. We have the ultra thin here. Then we have a Higer light, which I would say is a very comparable price range and size to the JCMP. And then we have the Fluval AquaSky here, which is a little more expensive, but I just pulled this off of my 180 to show the size comparison and the differences. And then lastly, this is a 24 inch current USA Satellite Plus, which is a little more expensive, but a lot of people love that light when it comes to an LED. But I think the first thing that stands out to me is the full spectrum because it is just so thin and sleek. I think I really like that light. Hopefully when I put it on the tank, it looks good because I definitely want to use that light. Second, we have the ultra thin, which I've used on my discus tank. Again, I really like that the width is thin, but it does stand up a little bit more than the full spectrum. Either way, I think the thin and sleek light definitely goes to JCMP. And then when you go to the Hyger, it is a bit thicker. I would say that definitely stands out to me. It's rounded on the edge rather than squared. It has the similar prongs on the end, and you'll notice that as the controller on the top of the light, which I don't know if I'm a fan of, it might allow you to program the light to do something a little more sophisticated, but overall, again, I don't really use those functionalities much. Then the Fluval AquaSky here, which definitely looks dirty, I need to clean that, um, but you'll see that it's very thin from side to side, and it's a really sleek light as well, so I think it's really comparable to the ultra thin from JCMP. Fluval AquaSky is a light I've had for many years on a lot of different tanks, but the four foot long Fluval AquaSky might run you about $120 right now, whereas the Hyger and the JCMP might only be in the $60 to $70 range for the four foot lights. I think I've seen that the JCMP might be just a couple dollars cheaper than the Hyger, but overall they're very similar. I think the full spectrum is only a couple dollars more than the ultra thin. I would compare these three lights on the end here in the same price range, whereas the Fugal Aqua Sky is a notch up. The Aqua Sky does come with an app with a lot of different features and settings you can play around with, but again, I don't really use those. Things like your thunderstorm setting, which I would never use in my aquariums. Some people like that, and if that's what you're into, then maybe steer away from the JCMP or the Hyger. The current USA Satellite does have a remote. 
I actually lost the remote, so I don't even have that on hand anymore, but it did have the similar settings like thunderstorms, like different lighting scenarios. And you can set the Aqua Sky and the current USA to more ramp up and ramp down periods. That's maybe one negative about the JCMP light is that they don't really have that sunrise sunset setting. And that's up to you if that's something that's really gonna make or break your light. And the current USAs are pretty expensive. I would say they're on par with the Fluval Aqua Sky or maybe even more expensive. I haven't looked exactly at the price points, but I would say if you're looking for a more affordable, cheaper options, the Higer, the JCMP are good lights, but we're gonna get these on a tank next and compare and contrast what they look like. I'm really excited to check this out, so let's get into it. percent white 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 blue 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 1 2 white 1 blue 3 white 2 blue there's the full spectrum 1 white 2 3 four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this is the Flu Ball Aqua Sky. What are my thoughts on the two aquarium lights that we unboxed today? Starting with the ultra thin, I really like that it is not too wide. It's really sleek and thin and it's very simple it's only white and blue lights with a six eight or ten hour schedule for that light which makes it super simple and easy to use i've used it for a couple months on my discus tank i feel like the discus look great it's growing plants just fine i think any plants like anubias java fern any of your middle to easy plants to take care of, the JCMP is gonna do a great job for any of those. And then when it comes to the other light, the full spectrum light, I was actually surprised at how much I liked that after I unboxed it and tested it on my 180. I liked it so much that I actually kept it on that tank and removed the Fluval Aqua Sky at least for now, and I'm gonna play around with it a little bit more and see if I like it long term. Before that full spectrum, it was super thin. It was one of the thinnest lights I've seen. It looks really sleek on the top of the tank, and the LEDs have a little bit more included. The white light actually has a little bit of green LEDs mixed in, and then you have your blue and your red that you can toggle back and forth as well. So both of these lights are very easy to set up and tune to your schedule. I think anyone can do it, just right out of the box and put it on your tank. But I think one of the best parts of these two lights is just the price point. If you're going for the four to four and a half foot aquarium lights, it's really one of the best I've seen in terms of LEDs. You're looking at anywhere from 50 to $70, whereas something like your Fluval Aqua Sky, which again, I've really liked over the years and it's been durable, that price point's gonna be upwards of $100, probably more like 120 or 130. And then when you compare something that's more expensive like the Aqua Sky with the full spectrum light that's now on my 180, I actually kind of like the light that's on my 180 now and it's less expensive so it's kind of a win-win. Obviously I'm not using the app that comes with the Fluval Aqua Sky and any of the advanced settings, the sunrise, the sunset, the thunderstorms, anything like that. But if that's something that you're looking for, definitely go with the Fluval Aqua Sky or something similar. I'm just saying this light's a little less expensive and I think the design and the quality of the light itself is pretty solid. I think the Hyger light that we looked at briefly is kind of in that comparable price range, but I'm not sure if I love the setting on the top of the light, and it's a little bulkier when it comes to the overall width and height of the light. So since we're already talking about lighting, I figured I'd also mention what lighting I have on my 150, because I get asked about that all the time. Those are two AI Prime 16s from Aqua Illumination. And if you're gonna go with more of the puck lighting, you're likely gonna be spending quite a bit of money on those lights, and some people will say it's worth it. I definitely like the look of this tank. I think it adds a really cool dynamic having your lights come up like that, but the price point was crazy expensive on those AI Primes, 
Each one was $200, so $400 plus the brackets, which is probably about $450 in total. You can definitely find less expensive puck lighting options rather than your AI Prime 16s, but I already had one from a previous tank setup, so I went ahead and got a second, and I really like the look now. I just have to forget that I pay that much money for these two lights. So I hope you enjoyed seeing the unboxing, the setup, the comparison between different lights and its category, and just the overall look of the light when it's actually turned on. I'll leave affiliate links down in the description below if you'd like to order this light or check out JCMP's aquarium website. Again, they have other things other than just lights, but overall I do think it's pretty good light. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm just showing you the ins and outs of some of these products that we're gonna be using in a lot of our tank setups. There's gonna be many more product reviews coming, so if you're interested in any of those types of videos, make sure to subscribe down below. There's going to be so much coming on the channel soon. I can't wait to show you. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.